So today I'm doing something a little different. This is a sort of a speed run to create a counter UI. And I'm using Imba, which is my favorite design tool. That's not a design tool, it's a programming language. For me, it's replaced React, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, because it's all of those things in one. Uh, rather than explaining all how to use it and set it up, I'm just gonna try to get you interested in it by showing you how fast I could build a little UI using Imba. As I'm doing this, it's gonna go by real fast, but I'm doing some commentary as I, as I type everything. It's probably still quite fast. Maybe you wanna watch it twice, but I hope it inspires some interest in what Imba is. There's a link in the description to the Imba website. I think it's a really underrated project, and I think it could be very valuable, especially for designers. So in Imba, you have tags. Tags are a bit like classes. I defined a count property on this tag initialize to zero. And then I'm putting in imba.mount with my app tag just to see that it worked. Uh, I've got my markup here. In imba, you don't need closing tags. It's all indentation based. I'm going to need a minus button and a plus button to make the count go up and down. And this count value I'll put inside of a div, give it a class of count. Just checking that the UI is there. Now I'm going to add the event handler. So I need a click handler that will make the count go down for increment and here a click handler that will make the count go up. I'm just doing defining those in line because it's very simple and that's done. 49 seconds, eight lines of code and the counter logic is all there. So I think it's amazing that you can do it that quickly and with that few lines of code in Imba. So let's do some styling. Imba's styling is really powerful as well. Um, this CSS without a selector here applies to this entire tag and it's all the CSS is scoped to the tag that you're putting it on. So I'm, I'm setting up some Flexbox stuff to center my UI, add a background color. You can see it's centered in the page there now. Add a font. Um, the Sans is a Imba convenience that will use the system UI font. Uh, and now for the container, the button and the count, I'm going to use Flexbox to make sure that the labels of all of those things are centered. So D is shorthand for display, display flex, AI is align items, uh, JC is justify contents. So you can type that so fast because of all the Imba shorthand. And uh, for the buttons and the count, we're going to give them a round style. So RD is radius, full is shorthand for making it as big of a radius as possible so they look round. BGC is background color. Cooler 3 is a shorthand uh, color. And set the color to white. C is for color, size 40, border none. Remove that kind of ugly border. Set the font size on this. Just going to clean that up and put it on two lines. And for the buttons, I want to have a white um, outline around them. So I put a border. And I'm setting a Z index here because I want them both to appear on top of the count. Because here on the count, uh, so first I'm going to set a size, 100 pixels. Size is an Imba shorthand that sets width and height. FS for font size, make the font size a bit bigger here. Uh, background color, cooler 4, which is just a darker, cool gray. And now here I'm going to use a shorthand M, uh, MX, which is margin in the X direction. So it's shorthand for margin left, margin right. Negative 10 pixels that brings those two buttons in on top. And the Z index means that they're both going to appear on top. And now button at active, that's a uh, Imba syntax for the active um, selector. And I'm gonna set the scale. Again, there's an Imba shorthand for the scale transform. So scale 0 0.8, background color, cooler four. So it gets darker and smaller when you click in on it. Let's add an animation there. Imba shorthand for the transition property is tween. Do all properties, 100 milliseconds, ease. So now I've got a nice animation there on those buttons. And uh, one last feature, let's add a class of negative. In Imba, you can set any class name equal to a value. And if that value is true, the class will be applied. If it's negative, it won't. So count is less than zero. Uh, we'll make that class be applied. So now I can set up the styles for this class. Background color, pink seven, that's like a dark pink. And uh, and let's set up a tween for this as well so that that color change animates.
Cool, so now when it goes negative, that class is applied, CSS transition happens. Cool, 